Welcome back everybody to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to work on uh, getting some uh, high-tech stuff going. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is get the generator going and then the material processor and then the electric furnace. Hopefully uh, all that will go. But a couple things to update you on. Uh, first of all, I redid the pen out here and I was actually going to show you this in the last episode and I spaced it off. But I, I put the palisade walls around it instead of the stone foundations that we had before because we had that incident where somehow or another <coughs> buddy version 2.0 um, had gotten out of the pen and then a bear spawned in here and killed him so we're going to try this setup and i also found a, a buddy version 3.0 i won't be able to <laughs> name him until he's completely tamed on the way back um you know last night from our, our trek back from the desert so i just ran into him and i said oh we'll pick him up and take him home and so we got a new buffalo. I haven't uh, tamed a new moa yet, but we'll get to that when the time comes. And um, so, yeah, that's what we've done out here for that. Now, in, in the house, I have uh, done some rearranging and I've made some room. And so the plan here is I'm probably going to put a stone fireplace in this corner here. And then we're going to put the kitchen stuff over here. I moved the reservoir over onto the porch uh, for easy water access. And then these, this in particular is probably going to be moved and or this is going to be moved so we make room for the electric furnace. I'm going to keep the concrete furnace here, but we probably don't need, actually, the more I think about it, uh, we don't need the stone furnace anymore um, after we get the electric furnace. So we'll probably remove this all together. And then um, I, I have the, the kitchen bench and the pot belly stove over here. On this end of the building, I removed, the, uh, I moved the fabricator underneath the stairs and kind of have uh, like the crafting area over here. Upstairs, I have a cabinet here with just extra equipment in it. And then I moved the textiles, the advanced textiles, the glass working bench and the concrete up here because these are workstations that we use less frequently than the other ones. I still have more stuff to do around the base too. We got rails to put up, doors to put out. Uh, that'll come up in another episode, but um, right now I want to get the high-tech stuff um, going, so that is the plan. Okay, um, I also have logged out of the game and come back in, and I still have that heat stroke. Apparently, the only way we can get rid of this is with cooling bandages, which doesn't make sense because I'm no longer hot and haven't been for several hours in game now, but uh, apparently it's still there, and so that means we're going to have to learn those, but... You know, after our experience in the desert, which if you didn't catch that episode, it was the last episode, we survived. I mean, we didn't die or anything like that, but um, it was it was rougher than I was expecting it to be. And, and part of it was because of the heat. Um, so we're going to have to learn that. Now, I don't have... Oh, wait, do I? Yeah, I have three points here. Okay, so let's... That's probably a tier two or a tier one. Heat ban cooling bandage. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, I guess we're going to have to put a point into that. We probably might need to do one the heat, uh, uh, heat bandage too, but I don't want to do that right yet until we know for sure that we need to do it. So to make a cooling bandage, do we need that in our inventory? But probably if it's a tier one item. Yeah, uh, we need charcoal, fiber, and oxide, all of which we have quite a bit of. So let's grab some oxide. We'll grab some charcoal out of here. And fiber where do i have fiber at i think i have fiber in here yeah we don't have a ton of fiber but we have enough uh oh all right we'll just let the spikes deal with these guys well except for if he's coming to the door we'll let the rifle deal with them but the spikes killed the other one wasn't there two oh well, maybe not maybe it was just the one Okay, no problem at all. Since this guy was kind enough to deliver us some bone and hide and all that good stuff, we'll go ahead and take it off of him. We'll relieve him of his carcass and his skeleton. Another jaguar. Yeah, he's a... Uh, He seems to be avoiding the spikes. Well, now he's not. Yeah, so he'll just keep hitting him and be a moron until it kills him. <laughs> See? Yep, that was quick. I really like these spikes, you guys. 
I think I've mentioned that to you about, oh, I don't know, 80 times now? <laughs> no, not really. Uh, I do like them, though. Okay, so. We should probably check the durability on those. So let's just quickly grab a hammer. I think I have a couple of hammers in here. Yeah. They do take damage, but they look... They last quite a while, too. So, yeah. That's going to need some attention. And these are going to need some attention. Everything... Uh, well, those two. The other thing... And I'm, I mentioned this to you guys before, too. The other thing is that... The birds. The Kias will run into the spikes. And over time, you know, they start to take a little bit of damage, too. But I think everything else is good. The gate... Did he hit the gate? Yeah, he did hit the gate. Let's hit that, too. That wall's fine. That wall's fine. I really like these defenses. They're, they work quite well. Let's put this back in here. And I'm going to take this stringy meat, and I'm going to convert it into normal meat so we can double it. Um, I haven't really paid attention to these, but when I was doing it on the multiplayer server, my friend Rachel um, pointed that out to me, and I was going, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. So from now on, when we get string meat, we're going to just double it into raw meat. And then from there, we can either turn it into animal fat, or you can also use that in here, too. Um, but I, yeah, you know what? Why don't we do this? If we, let's take all the sticks out. We'll put the meat in there, and then we'll put this lantern in there, and it creates biofuel. <laughs> That's cool. I like it. Okay. I've always just used either sticks or wood in here. I haven't really paid much attention to the other things that you can use. Um, so that's kind of cool that you can do that. So, all right. Let's get uh, down to the main, the main um, event for this episode. And that's going to be... Oh, you know what? Hold on. There's one other thing I want to do before we get started in earnest. Um, let's go get our crops cycled. And we do have to keep on top of those or they will they'll go bad. So, yeah. Let me do this real quick and then, then we'll go in and get started. All right. Uh, did a little fishing while I was out there. We'll replenish our fish curry. And we don't have enough carrots yet to make some more of that really good veggie stuff. So I'm just going to put all the rest of this stuff in here for now. Some of it will go bad, but that's okay because that means we can then turn it into fertilizer. Speaking of which, I have seven bags of fertilizer in there. <coughs> so we'll do something with that in a little while. Um, let's put this in here. And I want to put this stuff back in here. And this meat we will turn into, wait, yeah, over here. Animal fat. Oh. That's right, we were going to make those cooling bandages, so we needed the fiber and the charcoal and the oxide. So let's make, well, let's just make one for the moment, make sure that's actually going to take care of the heat stroke issue. Okay, so we'll consume that. And that removed it. Okay, good. So what that means is next time we go into the desert, well, hopefully we'll... Hopefully we'll have that armor, but if we don't, then at least we can take a bunch of these bandages, and they're cheap to make, too. Um, what am I going to run shy on? Oh, fiber. Oh, I should probably just go get a bunch of fiber. Nevertheless, we just need to have a nice little stack of these when we come uh, go back out into the desert. And uh, that'll, that'll take care of the issue with the heat stroke. Uh, so we'll make the seven right now. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, let's get let's get to it. Let's get to it. I'm gonna turn you into that, and just put the rest of you in there. Okay. 
So first thing we need to do is make ourselves a generator. Um, so we need steel, copper, electronics, and glass. The glass I'm going to have up here. Um, no, not there. Here. Yeah. And we should probably grab some of this silica, put it in here, and make some more glass. Wait, hold on a sec. Uh, oh no, sorry, we don't do that. We put that in the in here. I was confused for a second. I mean, how come you're not making glass? So this is still working on titanium. Um, no, I'm sorry, it's working on platinum now. But we need glass. Here, let's grab that out of there. When this finishes. If we put this up in in front, then it should switch over to starting to make glass as soon as the platinum ingot is finished. Let's just make sure that is the case. I believe it will be. Um, are you going to finish? There we go. Okay. Good. For now, I'm just going to going to put all the platinum in here. Uh, speaking of which, how much platinum do we actually have? Uh, we've got, okay, so we've got almost 60 platinum ingots. Okay, that's good because, again, we need to make that platinum weave before we go to the desert again. All right, let's just grab this whole stack of electronics here, and we'll put those, that in here. We'll put this glass in here. And what else did we need? We need um, 20 steel ingots. We have that right there. I'm going to put the titanium. Oh, speaking of which, let's repair our rifle right now while I'm thinking about it. Um, and we should probably repair our, our knife. I think our pick's okay for the moment. A little thunderstorm going on out there. And then we also need um, some copper ingots, which we should have in here. All right, let's make the biofuel generator. And that will give us a source of electricity. I unfortunately cannot do water power here because I don't have a source of running water close by. We do have the waterfalls over there, but I think that's probably too far away for us to run a line if we put water wheels. I don't know. I'm not sure if, if that would work or not. So we might have to just rely upon biofuel for our power it's definitely going to be fine for starting out. Later on down the road, we might need something more substantial. Uh, but let's take the generator, and I'm going to put it upstairs for now. And, yeah, let's put it upstairs, and let's kind of put it... I guess we just put it in this corner here. Yeah, this thing is enormous. I keep forgetting how big this is. To still be able to get at the concrete thing, so why don't yeah, why don't we just put it right in the middle here? That's pretty good. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to make uh biofuel cans. I've already did that. Did I not make biofuel? Yeah, I did, right here. Okay, so we'll put those in here. those start filling up okay good now while we're waiting for that we need to make <coughs> a wiring tool and that's going to require some copper and some refined gold so let's grab a bar of refined gold out of here and we'll grab some more copper out of here and now we can make our wiring oh no that's a water pipe tool well it looks like we need the same stuff anyway we will we probably won't get to the water stuff in this episode, but we will de be doing it um, pretty soon. Because what that does is it, it basically allows any workstations that have a water connection to, to work more efficiently, work more quickly, that sort of thing. Okay, so we got the 
the wiring tool. And next on the agenda is the material processor, uh, which is up here. So we have everything in here we need except for 30 aluminum ingots. I've got lots and lots of aluminum. Grab two stacks of it from here. And voila, material processor. If you don't know what this is, it's basically the mortar and pestle on steroids. <laughs> it's really good. And um, since the power is kind of over here, I think we will put the material processor in this corner and line it up there. And that is where it shall live. High voltage. Good. Okay, next on the agenda is the electric furnace. Okay, so we're going to have to crank out some electronics. Now we should have the steel. Stuff gets expensive, man. So there's 30 steel ingots there. And I have 13 more electronics in here. Uh, no, we'll worry about the compound bow later. Okay, so we have to grind up 19 more electronics and then concrete or cement. I have some of that in here. How much do I have? 74. Yep, that meets our, our concrete mix requirements. So yeah, we just have to grind out 19 more electronics. All right, so that means we need gold and copper, among other things, and epoxy. So let's grab all the copper out of here that we have. And let's grab all of the gold out of here that we have. Put both of those things in here. And we have, we have enough epoxy to make 19. And we need organic resin. Okay, so that is oxide in wood. And guess what? I am like mega low on wood right now. So, I'm going to cut the camera here. I'm going to run out and grab some wood. I'll bring you back when I come back. And we will continue on. So, don't go away. Okay guys, we are back and we have some wood now. Uh, so let's grab a stack of that. And we need to make organic resin. I'm just gonna max out what we can currently make on that. And then that should be enough for us to crank out 19 more electronics in order to make the electric furnace. So <clears throat> when I have these 19 electronics made, I'll bring you back and we'll go from there. So we have 30 electronics let's put those in here and we can now make the electric furnace and there it is okay cool now um this thing's pretty good size so what we're gonna do like it says we're gonna pick this up um, let's get everything out of here. I'm going to put all the iron in the anvil for now. And we've got a full anvil. Look at that. Very cool. What's that? That's a copper ore. Okay. Uh, let's put, you know what? Actually, we might end up needing to move all of this stuff too. So I'm going to take all of that out. And this is our... Well, currently, anyways, it's our ore bin. We'll put those two pieces in there. And that holds all of that. Look at all this aluminum. That's great. We're going to need that, though. For other things, I'm kind of just putting charcoal in the fire pit for the, for the time being. And now, um, I guess we have more charcoal in there, too. Okay, let's pick this guy up. I'm not going to destroy this. I'm just going to put it up in the equipment cabinet for now. And uh, let's put this additional charcoal in here for now. 
It's got charcoal all over the place. Some, at some point I'm just going to go do a massive, massive sulfur run and then just make gunpowder like there's no tomorrow. Um, okay, so I don't think this is going to fit here, though. No, it isn't. Okay, so we're going to have to move probably this. Um, we're going to put the fireplace here. You know, I actually, I had this right here, and it actually worked pretty good. Maybe we'll put it back here. Not necessarily saying it's going to stay there forever, but it seemed to work okay. You know, just putting it right in this spot. So we will do that. Okay, now... Um, well, it's kind of in the way now. Let's see if I can get this set in place. Well, that's in the way. Uh, we'll move it over this way as far as it'll go without completely clipping into the other guy. And we're facing north. All right, there we go. Man, that thing's a lot bigger than it used to be. Pretty cool. Pretty daggone cool. So, if nothing's changed from the last time I played, we can only connect this and this to the generator and we can't connect anything else unless we have another generator but these two things are all we kind of need right at the moment anyway so let's grab the wiring tool now and we'll come up here and we want to connect uh, this to somewhere on here I don't remember where how that all works we we'll just do, oh, okay. So I guess we'll just do that. Well, let's have this come out to about here ish. All right. And then we're going to go downstairs. And we need to make a junction. Maybe right here. So that we can... No, I'd like that to be over a little more. Maybe even a little more than that. Okay. How do I... Oh, I right-click. Gotcha. Okay, let's redo this. I like to get this wiring, you know, reasonably straight. It doesn't have to be perfect, but... I don't like it all over the place willy-nilly either. Alright, so hook that up again. And we wanted it to be right about here. Nope, that's too far over. Dang it. <laughs> Alright, so, so there's a little knot. Here, let's do this again. Yeah, there's a little knot in this board here. So I want that to be lined up kind of not directly on that knot but kind of using that as a reference point whoops there okay so there's the knot how's that look I mean yeah it's okay it'll work not perfect but it'll work okay and then what we'll do is we'll hook into and run this wire along here like that and then hook that down into there okay I'm gonna take this and move it in long ways because it is smack dab in the way <coughs> And north, and we'll put it right about there. There, that gives us a little bit more room on that side of the furnace. Okay, good. 
We should have two full bio cans. I think we I think we only put one in the generator though. Let's take a look here. Press E to interact. Yeah, just one. I don't know what these slots are for. Those might be for, mo maybe we can add modules to this to make it more efficient or something. All right, there we go. So it's generating 5,000 units of power. And that means we can start using this and start using this. This in particular we're gonna need in order to make composites, uh, which we're gonna need to make some of the really high tech stuff. Now, do we have enough resources to make another generator? So we can have additional power like lights and things like that. We need steel and one more electronic. That should not be difficult to do. Uh, oh, we need epoxy as well. There's some epoxy right there. Look at that. 57 more. Fantastic. Okay, so we'll make one more electronic. I'm not going to necessarily run two generators all the time, but I want to have that ability because I, I do want to put some lights in here. <coughs> and uh, we got copper. Yeah, we just need the steel. That is, mm, yeah, that's enough steel. Okay, cool. So let's make a second, Jenny. That way we have it. And grab this. I'm going to make some more. Um, I want to make two more biofuel cans. So we need a 50 ingots, iron ingots. take these and get them started filling because they take a little while to fill and when the other ones run out we'll have two more to to use okay we'll take the next Ginny and we're just gonna set it right next to this one Fill it up so it's fueled and ready to go when the time comes for us to hook up some lights. Looking good, man. Looking good. All right, we have. <coughs> um, looks like we we leveled. So let's go to our solo tree. I'm gonna put the third point into Tis but a scratch, so we take 15% less damage from critters. That's good. We have one talent point in the normal talent tree. We're gonna go back to here, and now we can open up. Uh, stamina region and we're gonna just kind of start going down this tree here for our talents for husbandry and then we have two points available in the tech tree um and I think what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna go back to tier two and we're gonna learn the hatch the stone floor trapdoor um, so that I can put those ladders out on the on the deck that I was telling you guys about a couple episodes ago. Um, in, down into the water. And we're also from Tier 2, since we're here, we're going to learn the fireplace. Uh, because I'm going to put the fireplace right here. We'll use it for cooking and for just having a nice fireplace. And can we make that right now? Where do we make the fireplace? Do we make that in here? Uh, yes, we do. So we just need 120 stone and 30 wood. Grab the stone and grab some wood. And I think, oh, you know what else we have to do unless they've changed it? I think we have to make sure we put this on a floor. We can't put it directly on a foundation. <laughs> Let's just see what happens here. And I don't know if we have to have a chimney or if that's just for aesthetics. I don't remember. You have to have that kind of thing like in Valheim. OK, 
Okay, let's grab a stone floor. And we want to put this right there, like so. And then grab the fireplace. And put it in there. And then I wonder if we can put the chimney there. How much does it cost to make a chimney? 40 stone. Right, okay, so let's make a chimney and a chimney top. <clears throat> and again, I don't think this is required. I think it's just for aesthetics, but let's test that theory. Can we just put wood in here and start it? Oh, look at that, we can. Alright, well, you know what? We'll do the chimney anyways, because it'll look nice. It's the way it should be. The question is, though, can I fit it in there when the Jenny... Yep, look at that. We can fit it in there, and then we'll put the chimney top right there. So when we go outside, we have ourselves a chimney. It doesn't actually smoke, but still, it looks really nice. I like it. Uh, the window th situation, however... Um, that looks a little bit odd, but you know what? I'll deal with that later. I <laughs> don't really care about it right now. Ultimately, I do care about it because I want stuff to look cool, but um, not right at the moment. All right, you guys. I think we've done pretty much all the damage we can do for today in this episode. And um, so let me think. What's next? We need to start working on composites now. And... I gotta learn, actually I have to learn that. So we are almost to level 43. So when we hit level 43, we're gonna learn composite paste. And we make the composite paste in here. We don't have the recipe for it until we learn it. And then we make the composites themselves in here. Yeah, so composite paste for composites. And it looks like it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, and we need that stuff to, to make the high-end armor, we need it to make the high-end compound bow, and, you know, there are other things that require it, too. Oh, yeah, we want to get a refrigerator going, too. So, all that to say, I've got more grinding to do, and, um, I don't think any of that requires titanium. No, it doesn't. Okay. So, the plan for now, and by the way, in case you're curious, I'm in planning on getting an alteration bench because this allows us then to make like mods that we can add to certain things and we'll probably just go right to the advanced alteration bread, uh, bench when the time comes so you know that's on the list but this is the next most important thing I think we need to do in terms of prioritization we want to make a vapor condenser and that takes composites and you know more stuff coming up we need to, to do the water pumps um, which is on the list to-do list as well, but we got the power in. Oh, here's the other thing too. Um, we're gonna go in tier three when we level again, and we're gonna learn um, the ceiling light. And we might be able to light this whole room up with one. If not, then we'll put two in. And that's partly why I put that second generator in, so we have the power uh, to do that. Okay. So anyway, that uh, should wrap up the episode. Gives you an idea of what's coming up next. I'll do some off-camera grinding, and I will bring you back in the next episode when the time is right, and we'll go from there. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share our other video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.